Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to draw and represent fractions on a number line. Let's jump into number one, where we have two thirds. Step one, we need to draw a number line from zero to one. So again, a number line here from zero to one. So we have a distance from zero to one now, and this is one whole. Two thirds is part of a whole. We have a fraction. So two thirds is going to be somewhere in between zero and one. So the next thing that we need to do is divide the number line, the distance between zero and one into equal parts. Our denominator tells us how many total equal parts we need. So for number one, our denominator is three. So we need three equal parts. So one, two, three. Now keep in mind, we just need two tick marks to make three parts. Don't make three tick marks because that will give us four parts. Now that we have three total equal parts, we move on to step three, where now we need to count a certain number of equal parts from zero and mark the fraction with a point. The numerator tells us how many equal parts we need to count. Our numerator for number one is two. So we count two parts from zero and mark the fraction with a point. So one, two. So our point goes right here. And that's our fraction, two thirds. So let's label our fraction, two thirds, and we are done. The distance between zero and one was divided into three equal parts, so thirds. Then we counted two out of those three equal parts and marked our fraction two thirds. So we went over two out of the three total parts. Let's move on to number two and try another one. We have one sixth. First, let's draw our number line from zero to one. So here's our number line, and we need zero to one. One sixth is going to be somewhere in between zero and one. Now we need to split the number line into equal parts. Our denominator is six, so we need six in total. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. The distance between zero and one is now divided into six equal parts. So we need to count and go over one. That's our numerator. So we need to count and go over one equal part and mark our fraction. So this is one sixth. The distance between zero and one was divided into six equal parts. And we went over one out of those six equal parts to represent one sixth. Let's move on to number three, where we have four fifths. First, we need our number line from zero to one. Next, we need to split the number line into equal parts. Our denominator is five, so we need five in total. One, two, three, four, and five equal parts. So fifths. The distance between zero and one is now divided into five equal parts, so we need to count and go over four. That's our numerator, so go over four out of the five equal parts. So one, two, three, four. And thinking about fifths as we count, that was one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and four fifths. So just another way to think about it. Now we can mark our fraction here and label it. So four fifths. Lastly, let's move on to number four. We have three eighths. Let's start with our number line from zero to one. 
Now for eighths here, we're going to do something a little different to help us try and stay as equally spaced as possible. Now, do you have to do it the way I'm going to do it? No, but it's something to keep in mind. First, we're going to split the number line in half. Now we're going to divide each of those parts in half. So in half and in half. Now we have four total equal parts. So lastly, we're going to divide each of those parts in half. So in half, in half, in half, and in half. And now we have eighths, eight total equal parts. So we went from two equal parts to four equal parts to eight equal parts. Now we need to count and go over three equal parts. That's our numerator. So one, two, three. So we went one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. And we can mark and label our fraction. So three eighths. The distance between zero and one was divided into eight equal parts, and we went over three out of those eight equal parts to represent three eighths. So there you have it. There's how to draw fractions on a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.